So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover the lab analytics as a service for data sharing partners first of all click on start lab and this lab is very easy but little bit tricky so make sure to follow all the steps like how I do we need to open data sharing partner project so first of all open that in incognito window and use the username and password of data sharing partner password and username enter the username and password now click on i understand Now we have to search BigQuery on the search bar and open it because we will be executing the next step there. So wait for the BigQuery to open. Meanwhile like the video and subscribe to the channel. So now here we have to run the query. It's query. So run it. click on save view for table name type the authorized view view now we have to do the same for authorized view p so first of all run the second command listed on the lab manual and then we will save it Select the same data set, demo data set and for name you have to select authorized view dash p. Click on save. Now both are saved. Click on check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. Now we have to enable permissions for both the views. Now click on sharing on demo data set. And then we have to authorize both view. So click on sharing and then click on authorize view. Now we have to enter this and click on add authorization. Select authorize view A and then click on add authorization. Now for second view, select this. As you can see we have selected to select it now click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue lab takes time to update score so don't not to worry just wait for some time and you will get a score without any issue so wait as you can see we got the score now we have to enable separate permissions for both the both the views that is big query basic permissions which is for viewer so click on add permission refer to the lab instruction for the principal so now here for role we have to select BigQuery and data viewer as you can see it's mentioned here we have to enable that only now click on save now for the second one also select the student ID make sure to select the student ID from lab only because each time it updates and you may face unnecessary error first select authorize view b and then click on share and here click on add per principle enter the username here bigquery data viewer and then save so finally we are done with this task now we will move forward to the another task so click on check my progress wait for some time you will get a score without any issue so 
so finally both are done now we have to log in into customer a so for that you can close the older window which we opened that is data sharing partner and we will open customer a project console so first of all close this then open customer a project id now for username and password you can refer to the lab instructions click on i understand wait for this search bar search big query big query will be opened on the big query we have to run some some queries and then we will save it to a table which we will create in this task so first of all you need to copy the table name after running that query click on save view now select the data set which is customer a data set now for table just enter the customer a table and click on save now open local studio Click on blank report. Now for country select India. You can select any country. So select India as we all are from India. And for name subscribe to my channel. You can use any name to click on I agree. Yes to all. And then continue. Now click again on the blank report. now click on big query now once you selected big query so we have to select big query click on authorize and sign in using the customer username make sure do not sign in using your personal account now from here we have to select the recent as you can see we have done this task but we have to select recent one and from here we have to select the customer a data set and table so first select project id data set and then table name make sure to select customer a table not customer info so then now click on add report so after that you need to click on add report now we'll get a score without any issue now we have to repeat same steps for customer 2 that is customer B so wait till we get check my progress score as you can see we got the score now you can close the window of that lab I mean that browser now we have to reopen incognito customer B and repeat the same steps which we did so first of all enter the username and then password Click on I understand. I agree and continue. And here search again big query or just select in case it's not visible. Now we have to run the command run the query for B. Meanwhile, in in case you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe it. Click on OK. Now for the untitled query select and from lab instruction just enter the query which they have mentioned enter this query now click on run now we have to again save it on customer b table so copy the name of the table you can type also but better copy it select b data set enter the table name save now we have to again open looker in incognito window so open looker studio incognito window now repeat the same step 
in case you are unable to see just zoom out your browser like 80 to 70 percent select any country you can select india subscribe write any message click on the i agree and continue now again select yes to all and then continue now select blank report now from here select big query authorize query select the student id of customer b console which you just sign in for this task now from here you have to select recent projects not any other because some of you may make mistakes so first of all select the data set and table should be b table not customer info now click on wait for some time click on add to report and finally guys you are done with the lab now hit check my progress you will get a score without any issue in case you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe it for more amazing video check the playlist for skill badges and other labs thank you guys and have a great day